I have never seen anything like Cooper Rush. Never, ever, ever seen anything like Cooper Rush. The national media is confounded by Cooper Rush because number one, just about everybody in the national media said, Dallas is dead when Dak got hurt near the end of that opening night stinker against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. And number two, because in this internet age of splash and sizzle that we live in, of wow and pow and IG and TikTok, everything about Cooper Rush is so astonishingly, maddeningly ordinary. He cannot be doing what he keeps doing, but he is. He is the biggest story in the National Football League so far this season. Cooper Rush is fifth in the league in QBR. That's impossibly great. He has been impossibly great for all five of his starts because he's 5-0 and oh as a starting quarterback in the National Football League. Five and oh, but sure, Shannon could be right. Maybe, maybe this is the night, Sunday night, that Cooper Rush does get exposed by the five and oh, big green machine, the Philadelphia Eagles. It's also possible that Dak Prescott finally convinces Jerry Jones by Sunday. He's 1,000% healthy. His thumb is completely healed. He can grip it. He can rip it. He can fire that football 1,000%. And maybe Jerry Jones finally gives in and says, OK, I'm paying you $100 million guaranteed. Go on back out there and earn it, young man. Maybe that happens by Sunday night. But to me, silly me, just me, throwing Dak Prescott right back into that Philly fire after he missed five weeks would not be fair. It would be cruel. It would be insane. Cooper Rush has set the bar too high. The Eagles have set the bar too high. I mean, my God, Cooper Rush, th think about this. He's beaten last year's two Super Bowl opponents, the Bengals and the Rams, and he won at the Giants, who are now four and one. I mean, to me, that's, that's pretty great. And to me, Cooper Rush has earned the right to undergo one more reality check, this time at Philly, ultimate reality check. I, for one, would forever regret it if I didn't get to see with my own two eyes what Cooper Rush could do at Eagles, Sunday Night Football. I, I think there are some members of my Dallas Cowboys sitting quietly in the locker room, swallowing these thoughts and words, who would regret it if Cooper Rush didn't get the opportunity He's earned to see what would happen if you throw him into the Philly fire. I've seen what happened on Sunday night football a year ago. It was Halloween night at Minnesota. Man, he looked pretty great. He threw for 325 yards. 51 seconds left. He threw a touchdown pass to Amari Cooper, no longer a cowboy, but threw a touchdown pass to Amari to beat the Vikings 20 to 16. I saw it with my own two eyes. I saw him on Monday night football overcome a big Saquon break loose touchdown with back to back drives to put the Cowboys back ahead. Drives combined on which he completed 12 of 13 passes. Passes. He actually threw passes and completed 12 of 13 for 129 yards on back to back touchdown drives to pull them up out of a 13 to six hole and give them a touchdown lead at Giants, Monday night football. 
you know, obviously, just trying to have some heart about this, that the obvious easy way to ease Dak back into the fray would be see what happens Sunday night. And then here come Detroit and Chicago at home ahead of the bye. Well, wouldn't that be the, the safer way, the saner way, the fairer way to ease Dak back in? Sure it would. But this begs the question, what if? What if Cooper Rush beats the Eagles in Philadelphia? Would I be shocked? No. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from the Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.